to the truck rescue. Don't spill up at her if you close the little valve on the bottom, Jamie. Close the little valve. Noted. We're airing up the tire on the mole, and we're heading out to Hillsboro. Hillsboro, Oregon, to pick up a free truck. I told everyone I'm not buying any trucks right now, but somebody called me and threatened me with a good time on a, I think it's about a 1949 Ford panel truck. Free. Let's hit the road. I put the air compressor You got away. the ramp? Or you could check it. Yeah, they're in the back of the truck. You got a battery? Yeah, it's in the back of the truck. You got straps? Yeah, they're in the back seat. Chains? You don't got none. You don't need any? You got straps. All right. Forgot about the remote for the winch. Well, it should be in the center console. Well, it wasn't. It was in the tool trailer. Well, that's not my problem. Well, now it's in the back seat. Okay. Love you. We had a very mellow Halloween last night. Went and watched a friend of ours, Shane Brown. Hey, I'll use some of Shane Brown's music in this video. The song's called Evermore. Go to ShaneBrownMusic.com or Shane Brown on Facebook. Spotify. I'll put a link right here. Go to Shane Brown. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon, folks. Jamie and I were just driving down the road and I realized that I didn't have my wallet. And I said, oh no, I didn't have my wallet. And Jamie almost locked the brakes up on the truck. <laughs> I was like, well, it doesn't mean we can't go. <laughs> but apparently she's not comfortable with getting away from the house without me having my wallet in my pocket. But I understand you thought I had to pay for the truck. You were thinking that I had to, had to buy something. And, yeah, okay. Uh, but the good news is it's a free truck. So I asked Jamie if maybe she could loan me 20 bucks or so, so I can buy her some lunch or something. <laughs> hey, I, I can't push this conversation too far, folks. I will get in trouble. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> Look, at, there's an RP assembly right over there. Uh, what's that, honey? It's an RP assembly. Jamie just passed her. What test was that you just passed? My smart little wife. My bad Jamie was in college all week last week, studying, uh, working for the city, the public works department. Uh, every now and then she takes tests and gets certified for different things. Now and I have a new obsession when we're driving around. Yeah, and uh, you can't drive down the road with Jamie without her explaining what every spray paint line is on the road. And now the new thing is plumbing assemblies, anything to do with water, backflows, and it helps me remember what I've learned. Yes. She's a very good study. Otherwise, I forget because I don't have very good memory retention. <laughs> anyway, we're on our way. We're just leaving the Molala candy area and heading out to Hillsboro, Oregon. Folks, we'll be back. You don't see these very often. No, no you don't. It's... Yeah. 
Do you know what year it is? <laughs> I, I think it's a 50. I think my dad yeah. was a 50. 48 to 52. Do you Hi. know what year Hi. it is, Brent? 50 a what? 50 something. It's 50 something for sure, yeah. I mean, you can check the door. You open the driver's door and see oh. if the, I think the tag might be still in the door. Yeah. I don't that side because the pizza are already from the top. I don't see the tag. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hmm. Click on here, the door 483. It must have been some sort of. Four eight three. They were all they were all some sort of you know company <clears throat> delivery yeah. truck. Well, she's pretty rough, but she's worth saving. It's hard to find Not these. Even. It's just part of it. Yeah. Oh, it was a hippie van at one point. Well, you can turn it back into it. Yeah. Because they get into a bigger chicken coop. It, this would make yeah, a good chicken coop. it would coop. make a good chicken <laughs> coop. All right, well. You want it? I mean, yeah, yeah. It. No, I'll do something with it. I've got uh, friends that are seriously into Fords, you know, and if one of them can well, save it or use it to save another, you know. That's why I asked if you or somebody you knew. Yeah. Uh, we'll figure it out. She just wants to go on. It's kind of cute. It is kind of cute. They're actually it? really cute fixed up. It'd yeah. be cool with a 7.3 and it's some stacks on it. Yeah. Well, when your one truck gets done, you can just take this over there and have it done. Yeah. What did we do here? That's kind of like that. The original piece is sitting over there in the bottom. They actually did a pretty good yeah, job they did, on didn't that, they? didn't they? They did a really good job. Okay, he's got some doodads over here, honey. Got storm drain covered up. Um, try to, try to keep some of the leaves out of it. <laughs> yeah, that's all good to have. Yeah, yeah. shit, the license plate light the and the trim thing. for the hood. Trim piece is both right there. Yep. That shit's valuable. Kind of needs Must to stay with it. Oh, for huh. the radiator? Kind of needs to stay yeah, with it. Yeah, bottom of the radiator, yeah. I think. Yeah. This thing goes up to the front, too. Well, maybe floor panels, huh? Yeah. Kit, tow board, and. Sure. Headlight ring. All right. Well, uh, did they figure out what they were going to do with the dart? Is it going to hang? I on think to the it? kid wants it. But yeah. Does it have an engine in it? Yeah, 360. I guess oh. it's original 340 car. That's cool. I had more uh, this body style. The one the three, that you, the three fell in it. Heads. The one that the tree fell? No, I, when I was in my 20s, I had oh, one. Okay. I got it and had a slant six in it, and I dropped a 318 with 340 heads in it and had the rear wheels widened. But other than that, it had the hubcaps and everything. I called it Sleepy, and it used to just, I, I trick people all the time with that car. It was fast. Oh, car? Yeah, he needs to fix that up. I'll tell him you get first dips on it if you want. Yeah, to sell. if he doesn't want to do anything with it, I'll I'll find something to do with it. How are you doing? I'm doing well. You know, Rick, Lisa, Jamie, Lisa. Hi. Hi. Yeah, let's get her loaded up and start dragging her home. We were gonna stop by and see my dad, and my mom called an ambulance. He just got out of the hospital. Now he's going back. Uh -oh. Mind being in this? Because Kevin, he's helping us uh, save that whole panel truck over there. And he's got a couple of cool toys. This is a Chevy van. What year's your van, Kevin? It's actually 92. It's a 92, but it's the right body I style. Van and that that thing's here. pretty clean. But this is, what year's your truck? 1964. <clears throat> 1964 Chevy. Half ton, short bed, step side, with legit patina. Look at this, folks. That's the earned kind right there. But uh, just enough to give it the patina without the rot. I think it's really neat looking myself. But you got your BB guns in there? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I won't. 
Yeah, that's very um. Now I gotta edit that. <laughs> uh, uh, tastefully done on the interior, the old school tack, and that's about it. Original radio. That's really nice. Two eighty three. Yeah. Right on. Is that the original motor? No. Oh. It looks kind of period correct, though, doesn't yeah, I it? I tried to make it that way. Yeah. There's a history to this. But. That's amazing. It's got all this patina and no rod. That's good. It's just on the verge, right up in here. It's stuck yeah. It's just um, on the get verge. you some 415 and put it on yeah. the back of this. I should, yeah. yeah. I used the first time on the van, I had to do the drip roll. Yeah. Shit's killer. Yeah, I love that stuff. Anyway. Thanks for sharing your truck with us, Kevin. Yeah, you're welcome. She's a beauty. The van's cool. Black shack carpet in there. <laughs> it's all original. I just saw my, all my quad in the back. Go finally gets to haul his own kind. Yeah. Weather's freaking nice. Yeah, here. it is. Careful for your knee. What? He's got a bum knee. He wouldn't let me do it. <laughs> need a new trailer hitch. That one's kind of sketchy. It's had a hard life. Here, I'll trade you. Yeah, it has. It's paid for itself. Hello. Right. Somebody's getting a truck, huh? Another one. How you doing? Another one? <laughs> Another one. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Kevin's got the hookup. 
We won't disclose your address, Kevin. You're safe. Go ahead. Let's <laughs> give it to women. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is a nice shop, man. Holy cow. What is this? 32 Ford. Oh, man. You got nice toys, Kevin. Wow. Amer American. Legit American torque thrusts. Old school. Nice. The motor for it, say. It had issues. Turbo 400. Sweet. All right, let's see it. Can we turn the uh, radio down a little bit, Kevin? Because I don't want to get copyright dinged. Really? Yeah. You All right, folks. Oh my heck. Oh. 68 Camaro RSSS. Is it a legit RSSS? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is a rare color, too. Original. Wow. Had it since 83. Oh, wow. Oh, he's got some, got some nice meats on there. Well, or the they're actually oh they're Craigers. Do you remember the Pro the Stars? Bob Glidden, the Bob Bob Glidden. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Grumpy's toy. Yeah. Oh no, that wasn't Bob. That was uh, Jenkins. Wow. Holy cow! You could literally eat <laughs> off this. What are you running there, Kevin? Three fifty. Uh, is it punched out or anything? Yeah, it's 40 over, I think. Yeah. That's sexy. Nice. Have you had it to the track? No, I had this motor in my race car, and it ran 11 flat. Is that the race car over there? Is that a Nova under the tarp? I think this, would, the way it's set up, would go high 11, probably. I had a red 70 Nova. Oh, man, seven. this is beautiful. Good. Had a big block. Wow. Took first at... First place Chevy in October of 2009. That's gorgeous. And then my sister caught my garage on fire. Turned up my Nova Corvette. Can we look at the, the Nova? Salvage back and kept the motor. <laughs> so we're just gonna put the motor in something cool. Oh, that man. sucks. Has it got a 427 in it? Small block, yeah. Ah, that's all right. Punched out then. It's all, it's a Donovan all in it. Yeah. Yeah, you got to do a lot of work to turn a small block into a 420. Oh, nice. Oh. Holy cow. Wow. That is a lot of work sitting right there. All right, so what's this one do, Kevin? That's the best part of this. Can you start it up? I could. Well, ran in a while, but it'll find what do you out. think, viewers? Do you want Kevin to start it up? Oh, I can hear him yelling from New York. <laughs> they're, they're like, he hasn't done it yet? It's been a long time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, yeah. What's it do? How fast is this thing go? High eight to one Wow. <laughs> nice. Here you go, folks. I'm getting the optimal spot. I guarantee you he doesn't run those tires. <laughs> It's for maintaining this battery. Oh. Trickle charger. He says, don't mess with my Nova. Look at the sticker. We heard a sign of life. Quick tip while we're waiting for Kevin to fire Godzilla up. If you're watching this video on a device that has a nice sound system with lots of bass, go like that and crank it up so you can feel what it's like to stand next to this thing when it roars to life. It's a beautiful thing. And if you don't like listening to this kind of thing, 
skip forward a couple minutes because I relished in it for a while. Fired up, Kevin. Come on, Sleepy. Come on, Sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> He's filming and you just cussed. <laughs> I'll edit it. I'll, I'll make a diesel sure horn or something. You should have seen him. He was under. Show him what you were doing. Just call him Richard. Head. He was wafting the fumes in his Leave it in the video. Recall him a Richard head and then you can leave it in the video. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed uh, your sponsor list down there. I zoomed in on the bottom of your sponsor list. Mom. <laughs> They're always. They always support our things yeah. that we're passionate about, right? I think you're nuts, but still. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing your awesome stuff with us, Kevin. Thanks that was, for taking the family. We love it when people share their hot rods and their projects yeah. with us, and their, our viewers appreciate it, too. They'll really like listening to that thing. <laughs> I think it'll drown it out. I videoed in the noise drowns out. Or nah, I think we're going to be okay. Maybe that when you got that last rev, yeah. because... My ears were doing something weird oh, right yeah. there. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> All right, well, thanks. Classic Truck Rescue.
We appreciate you, Kevin. Thanks for helping us save the old truck and sharing yeah. your goods with us. Peace awesome. out. Awesome. All right, folks. <laughs> All right, folks. It's crusty and it's old and it's got some dents on it, but we appreciate Kevin helping us to save this truck it's because crusty. somebody. Hey, you can call it crusty. Crusty. Where'd you come up with crusty that? Rutherford. <laughs> crusty Rutherford. Crusty <laughs> Rutherford. And also comment. I know a lot of my viewers are Ford guys. What year is it based on the grill and the parking lights and stuff? Anyway, folks, I'm glad we came out here. It, this truck's worth saving. And like I said, I didn't pay a dime for it. Kevin just wanted it to go to a good home. And uh, we'll try to see that that happens. It needs some work, but... You don't see these very often. You don't. And we got all the chrome spears and stuff like that for it. So it's got some potential. Classic truck rescue. Peace out. Yep. And I went straight to it. Oh, I've decided upon a name for this truck. I'm going to call it Elmer Ford. And we want to thank Lisa for uh, having the good heart not to just get rid of this and have it crushed uh, it was in her yard and she just wanted it out of her yard Kevin knew about her knew about me it's a neighbor of Kevin's and uh, uh, I told him I can't I I'm not buying trucks right now I'm focused on that thing out there and it sucks up a lot of money and I don't make money while I'm working on it but uh, they insisted they wanted me to come get it and I sure appreciate it uh, I think this is the first free truck I've ever gotten in my life <laughs> and uh, how fitting that we just unhooked it right here on I'm calling this Ford Corner and uh, this was not by design the, the, I think those are the only three Fords I have yes other than the Lincoln Jamie's truck and Elmer Ford and they just wound up there so he's in good company uh, but Annabella spotted him she said wait a minute there's something new on the property and she wants in folks she wants in but there's no floors in there Anna there's no floors how will you get around yeah I guess I could open the door for her all right come on that'll let you in I think it's kind of a cool old truck I really do I'm gonna call Lisa today and thank her again and find out what the backstory is on this I believe it I'm not gonna speculate uh, I've had I've had a busy couple of weeks and we were uh, Jamie and I were actually planning on um, go ahead check it out honey uh, Amy and I were actually planning on stopping by my mom's house yesterday after we picked this up to visit with Lou Lou got out of the hospital last week on Thursday uh, it's Monday morning now anyway he got home Thursday and uh, yesterday as we were leaving the property my mom was calling an ambulance to come get him because he had to go back into the hospital so you know on top of all that I got knee surgery scheduled for next week and it was doing pretty good yesterday but it's kind of mad at me today um, I, I should have properly thanked Lisa yesterday and if you're watching this Lisa I'm sorry I didn't but I will be giving you a call and thank you very much we really appreciate you uh, sending Elmer Ford to the classic truck ranch come on and we'll find a home for it we will and I, I don't believe we will part this out I, I just think that for one guy yeah it's a lot of project I mean it needs floors it's it's got rust around the wheel wells and stuff but there's a lot good going on with this panel I'm, I'm noticing the roof is really solid and everything it seems to have decent doors on it and uh, the dash needs a little work but you don't see a whole bunch of these you just don't I have it and I've been in trucks for a very long time and you just don't see a lot of these come on Anna come on come on sweetie come on good girl good girl we'll put one of your stickers on it come on come on you can get down here That'll give you a hand. Here you go, baby. I like the tires and wheels. Missing the hubcaps on the other side, but it also came with a bunch of spare parts. And uh, I see a lot of floor patch panels here. 
and various stuff for under the hood type sheet metal. This is supposed to be some original wood out of it, which is always good to have for patterns. And uh, here's the strips that go in the on top of the wood. It had the uh, headlight rings and these emblems right here, which I think are pretty cool. Those got to be kind of hard to find. I'm probably not showing you much of this as I'm. Anyway, these go right there, and those go. This is backwards for this side, but those go like that on the hood. Those go on the, anyway. Uh, I just I think it's worth fixing. Somebody spent a lot of time replacing this right here. They did a pretty good job. It's very smooth. Anyway, I was thinking that if a guy wanted to make a custom out of it, <clears throat> this is double walled right here. Maybe just enlarge those just a little bit. Put some fatties on the back. I don't know. Comment. What do you think? What do you think we should do with Elmer Ford? Uh, I don't have the title for it, but and I don't usually get vehicles that I don't have a title for, except uh, in this situation, it's a... Uh, not a spring chicken uh, lady that looked really responsible and I've got video of me getting it and her neighbor helping me get it so and I do know how to get a title for it in Oregon so um, it's worth saving it's worth a little work comment in my comment section what do you think a what year do you think it is because I'm not entirely sure I uh, did a little research last night and closest I could come was I'm thinking 1951 but it could be a 52, I guess. Uh, and let me know what you think. What do you think about Elmer Fudd for a name? And uh, what year do you think it is? Anyway, glad to have it. What do you guys think you're doing up there? Anna, get him out! Get him out! Come on, get him out! Get all of them out! Good girl. Good girl. Look at that chair, I'll probably walk right over there and sit right on. Oh, yeah, they got two of them. They're not... Oh, and the table, too. Isn't that oh, nice? Table, too. Yeah. The is to wait till it dries a little. you want it. Just do it. That is one busy bird right there, Jamie. 